So we're in again, it's Monday. And I feel fucking shite, but we can have a go. So, you can see there, took that down. Got my datums now, I've checked my datum this side, that side. So I'll just have a... So, got my datum at this side. I'm happy with datums at both sides, so I'm going to need to carry on as normal. Don't need to take this on off. Don't need to take this top one off, so that's good. So, oh, my fucking lead's come out with pencil. But, I'm happy with it. Um, so, if you go to the back, front, left. So, we've got to clean trays out now. I'm going to clean these, I'll clean these trays up to here. And then I'll get them later, I think. I don't know. So. Well, I'll see you next clip. Right, cleaning cavities, it's not fucking rocket science, but it can, people can make it like that with fucking Essien and shit. So, a bit of fucking lat slid in, right down the side of the house, slid in. Both ways on the door. This way on the door, that way on the door, loosen all your shit. And just get it to your corners, make sure you take it, you can't really see down there. But uh, there's a brick out somewhere. It's a brick out down there. Uh, if they're in, just smash one out. And uh, and then just loosen it all. Get it to your corners, then you ain't got to sweat it. And then inside, I've got those blocks out. Same with your patio door. Obviously, if you've got an opening, leave your briquette out. Same when I do, same with that. Loosen it all, get it to the corners. And jobs are good in there, really. Uh, I've got to clean behind them. And then I normally leave them about a day after walling. So I'll clean these today, get out what I can, I'll wall. I'll leave them same again tomorrow and I'll do the same again in the morning quickly while Mel's loading up so alright guys, see you next clip so that's done, it took about 10 minutes it's a shit job but if you just keep on top of it like that, loosen everything up knock it to your corners knock it down your centre you know, keep it all loose and then you know, I'll be able to get everything out at you know, when it needs inspecting and cleaning out fully uh, so yeah, right I'll get up and start doing something so we're back up here. The trays are all clean. I've got all the lintels. Nice lads bringing them now. So we've got a gobbo. Brand new that. I think that's good. I think that's sat this. And that came on Friday. Yeah, it's all right. A bit of crust on top. Scrape that off. So I'm going to get them moved. Right. See you next clip. So I've loaded them out. Um, you have know, got back loaded basically in this corner. I've decided I'm going to set that line off. Set profile up. So I set this big one up here on the corner. You can see. And uh, well, no, I'm set up on that corner. Dummy profile on the other one. And then that's me set for this side. Um, it took me about 40 minutes to load them bricks out because I was I was just stopping and starting. Um, a bit awkward, like, but got it done. Um, 
So yeah, I've just got to go sort these ties out now. I'll show you. So, what, what it, as you can see, I've left this block off here. This needs a briquette on and a block, but I've put my ties the wrong place, and we have to drill those out. Don't save me. I've taken this block off here, drill them ties out. I've got one. I've got fucking two. Well, basically, basically, I've got about eight ties to fucking drill out. Take them a couple of blocks off. So I'll get that done, and then we'll go for some snap. I'll wait for my next lot of bricks to come. Right, quarter past eleven, profile set up over there, that's ready. That's all set up with boards and bricks stacked up high. It's got everything I need, Dobbo's nice and creamy. Bricks are here, so we're going to go off some snap. I was going to quit a few times this morning to be honest, because you had guzz when you're on your own, you sometimes get a bit fucking fed up, but there's some good progress here. Tray's clean, tie's sorted. Um, I'm going to try to change a couple actually. Uh, I'm going to leave them on corner because Tradek's trapping that block, so they'll be alright. And then I've only got a hold to them when I come to them. And that one, obviously. But we'll see. We'll see uh, when we, we... I try not to tackle too much at once, because... If you just work, address problems as you come to them. Sometimes it's a bit less stressful, so... Give you guys a check-in in the car. So, we're having some snap right now. Fuck me, I can absolutely rape. Fuck it. Jesus, I'm gonna have to borrow some of that Alastair's foundation to add this. I'm not joking. I'm not joking, I only do that on weekends. Anyway, uh, so I've got that all sorted. So, took me about 5 10 minutes to fucking alter all that, and them trays took about 10 minutes. All in all, with profiles, probably half an hour's work. You know what I mean? Then sorting, lint sorting lintels out, probably another half an hour. Loading bricks an hour-ish. Basically a couple hours this morning. Nine, ten. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, all that. A couple hours this morning. I basically, you know, got everything finished that makes a band lift, that makes a joist lift awkward. Finding lintels, that's an awkward part of a joist lift because you, you don't know whether you're going to find them all. And we have, obviously, there's plenty where we were when we were looking for them. Um, you know, sorting out, you know, loading up some ball lake, obviously I've got on my own today. Um, cavities as well, you know, a little bit of cavity work, that's stressful, that stresses people out. Stressed me out for years, like, but now I just take it, you know, one day at a time. I don't let people sort of think about, when they think about a cavity tray, they think the whole plot, they think, oh, it's going to get a load of gobble in it. But as you've seen how I set everything out the trays and everything it's a fucking doddle a little a little lat and it's manageable you know what i mean um in future if we do drop on a site where there is more trays because this site's finished with trays now there's no more on this job um i'll be leaving a block out in the in my center walls as well um not me not me partition but my center um my fronts and my backs just so it makes it a little bit easier so you're not smashing um right through with a lat you know um but yeah I'm going to go out now, it's about fucking 10 to, 10 to 12, I'll go out at 12 and uh, and uh, lay a few bricks, you know, if I can get, my, my, my goal is finish that four course, that'll only take me about half an hour if that, not even half an hour, in 20 minutes, and then I'll move my boards round and then I'll just build a big wrap back, I'll build right up to my meter box, where I've got to sell that tray in. I'll do that tomorrow because I'm going to bring me, um, bring me, set, bring me cutter in tomorrow. I think. Right, I just do it with hammer and chisel really, and a few, a few knocking nails. Um, sort that out tomorrow. Profiles are already up, so I ain't got any mess in there really. Yeah. So if I get another big corner up, if I can get about 300 bricks in, I reckon today, if I can do that. Three, four hundred. I've done well today. I've done well on my own. Um, since I don't start laying till after snap, I don't count as a full day. But I'll have, uh, I'm happy that I've turned up today. I'm happy. It's um, as you can see, fucking 
you know, sat at home itching my fucking face and my hands. No point, just might as well come in and do a bit of graft. Um, I think a lot of guys think if you're not feeling 100% don't go in. Sometimes, you know, in life nothing, you know, your life isn't 100% all the time, you know. Life don't go just fucking the same every day. You feel up and you feel down, you really just say, roll with the punches and, uh, and, and appear and just be consistent. You know, some days you'll fucking do three times what you can do, like some days I lay 900 brick. Today I might, might lay 300, so. So, yeah. Alright, guys, I hope you like this sort of step by step of my day. Um, you know, it's it's one of them things as well. I think it's a bit of a unique perspective for YouTube because a lot of guys don't work one on one. Just there ain't not many, and the ones who do. Uh, you know, rush, a lot of guys I see one on one rush about, you know, and feel the stress of having to pay the labourer. Something I try and separate. I don't ever stress about paying the labourers, you know, I'm just happy to have one. You know, I've got the missus now. If it weren't for the missus, I'd have been fucking rushing about, looking for another lad. Got my dad coming backwards and forwards where he don't really want to be here. Um, but the missus just keeps me going, you know, keeps me going. Obviously, days like today when I've got some lintels to get, messing about. You know, load out in front a little bit, and uh, there's there's no stress there. Um, I do like a good solo day now and again. You know, don't like it all the time. Uh, I don't, you know, watching Izzy the bricklayer doing this private stuff solo. God, uh, I wouldn't want to do it. I, I encourage anyone if you work solo too long, it, it affects your speed on the trowel. It affects your speed to get gear down. Your head gets a bit fuzzled. You you need an extra set of hands. I worked solo for about six to eight months, doing boundary walls and stuff, and I was probably the slowest I've ever been. I probably, I probably, I probably got as slow as I was as an apprentice, uh, and I would, and I was like four or five years out of my time then. When I was working solo, and I was probably a bit faster as an apprentice uh, at times because I'd got into the mentality of plodding through, loading out in front. Um, my confidence had gone because I saw myself getting slower, so that not become. When you see yourself regressing, you you become less confident, you know, and that's because I was too too knackered, you know, loading my own gear constantly. It affects your speed on the trail, that's why hard, that's why hard carriers is a thing. If we could all lay as fast when we didn't have hard carriers, we wouldn't have them, would we? But so uh, yeah, um, I hope Izzy gets one soon. It's it's a rough old game working on your own. Like uh, yeah, even when you're doing privates, it's still rough I want to work doing anything like I find private jobs more awkward on your own more than anything I find that I think site work's easier to do solo than, than uh, private work because a lot less a lot less tools and materials need and you know not mixing your own gear it just gets dropped off you just press a button it comes out of a silo and all your gears just you just shout for if it brings it you know whereas when you you're handballing everything on privates and everything's you know, fetching it yourself, you know, so, yeah, definitely, you know, little message for anyone out there working solo, my mate, one of my best mates works solo, and, um, you know, he just, he likes it, you know, some people prefer it, but if you're young, and you're, and you're wanting to, you know, and you're in your earliest, you know, if you're in your 20s, there's no, you know, you should try get a labour and try, um, you know, it, it makes more sense. You save your body a bit more. Maybe when you're older and you're just plodding through your your final 10, 15 years, you know, work on your own. You know, it's probably if you you know, it's probably a bit less stressful. Um, and you, and it, but if you really want to sort of push yourself and try earn a little bit more, you, you can earn good money so well. You know, I've earned I've earned 400 quid in a day so well. Um, so there ain't really much excuse. It's just probably a bit. Bit more saves your body a bit more when you when you're younger for when because you're gonna have to do it. A lot of us will be working 50, 60 years at least, you know. So yeah, guys, a bit of a fucking intermission there. I'm gonna get back and do some that. <sighs> when you're putting your line on and you're on, you get all the way down there and that falls off. I've done it fucking hundreds of times. Just fucking trap it. it takes about two minutes, like a fucking two seconds. Saves your fucking. Loads of headache. So yeah, um, sure what I've got done so far. It's now quarter past two. I want to be sort of jointing up by half three. 
Um, yeah, I'll show you what I got done. So, this side is more or less loaded. Oh, no, not fucking focus. There we go. That's all basically loaded. I've got my tripod set up for a time lapse. Um, all this back's loaded, as you've seen in clips. Boards are full, I've got a few buckets in reserve. Basically, almost used the tub, so I'm gonna try and get this big corner racked out. I'm gonna see how long it takes me. I'm gonna fucking smash it on time lapse. I think an hour and a half to get it up. I've done my datums and all. I've saved them on my phone this time. I've not fucked about with pencil, just kept snapping. Put it on my phone, not I'm going to now. I'm not where I'm at. I know where I am. <coughs> right, let's get this time lapse set up and uh, I removed my Instagram video as well because I said I wasn't going to post one, but it looks like I've got enough footage for a full video today. I'm going to make it like a solo video, just talk about a few solo bits and bobs. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, I'll see you in the uh, time lapse. Hey guys, Harry here. Um, with the second voiceover part of the video. I know I did that little bit of rambling in the car, but I thought I'd uh, voice over this bit of footage. Obviously this is filmed on my phone, so it's going to go into a time lapse in a bit. I just thought I'd voice over a few points today. Um, so yeah, that's hope um, you've got a bit of a sense of how to sort of organise yourself when you're when you're working solo, this can you obviously work out when you're in gangs as well. The more organised everyone is, you know, the better. It isn't always about what time you get there and how, how many hours graft you do. Obviously, if you are in a situation where you can get to work at 7 o'clock every morning, you know, um, you're, you know you're used to getting up at that time and you want to put maximal effort in and leave it all on site every day, yeah, get there at 7 finish at half four and absolutely fucking smash it, you know, um, you know, you'll earn more money, you will, uh, but obviously you see the way I do things, a bit more relaxed, a bit different, you know, flexible working hours, working hours that suit myself, <coughs> still doable, you know, you still make some good progress even on, even with what I consider sort of like a token hours that I like to do, you know, I have the flexibility and option to do it you know a lot of guys who are self-employed don't see the you know the benefit of doing that you know it makes a lot of sense you know trying to you know work to your own you know your own you know your own time schedule you know um i think it's pushed on you know it's it's caused by working in gangs you know as soon as if you turn up late and but when you're working with turns up earlier than yet, instantly there's going to be a bit of animosity there. Um, didn't suit me starting at set times, like like other bricklayers wanted to. It didn't suit me, so I'd, this is why I never like working in gangs. I never worked with the bricklayers. I only worked with labourers, and even I've had labourers turn up before me uh, a lot of time and complain at me for not getting there on time, which, you know, which makes no sense, like, I'm paying them. Um... I should just chill out, you know. But uh yeah, so anyway, um yeah, the time lapse coming up here. Um don't know how many bricks I got down. Like three hundred, something like that maybe. Use the tub, so that normally means around three hundred, three fifty. So I was happy with that today. Um so yeah, I'm gonna show you this time lapse now. I haven't really got much to talk about. Um, the sort of I said everything in the video I want to talk about really in my check-ins so <clears throat> also you're not seeing this clip but I actually start spreading all the way through um, on my trip back from the line so I spread all the way back so I don't walk to each end of the wall every time so you'll see that come up in the in the uh, time lapse anyway so hope you guys are enjoying um, and I did that little bonus video talking about it's a bit lame therapeutic and stuff like that. Um, I did that on Sunday. So I'll do my, like, my own separate voiceover vids, I think, rather than my normal videos. Normal videos will have, you know, like, raw footage, time lapse, a uh, bit of voiceover, you know, a bit of face-to-face uh, -face voiceover, like, vlog style. So I'm still getting used to looking into the camera, so if my eyes drift off into yonder, you'll realise, you know. Anyway, guys, um, uh, tune in. Enjoy the time lapse and uh, I'll uh, see you at the end of the video.
that. Good.
25 to 4. I'll show you what I got done. So we've got uh, we've got eight cores on there. So that's that. I've got to joint it up now, so I'll probably be here till four. I'll joint that over there as well. Um, so yeah, I reckon tomorrow I should get all of it round. All front head of frame, all lintels on, all back head of frame. And if I can get the brickwork built up where soldiers get before where soldiers go, that'd be fantastic. I don't see why I shouldn't be able to get that done. And then it'll just be a case of on Wednesday soldiers all the way around the outside. I do that I always do them first. And then Thursday block work and I reckon we'll have a couple of early days in there. Um yeah, maybe Wednesday afternoon, what work, I don't know. Thursday, th half a day Thursday maybe, and then should have, they said they'll have that scaffolded, so. Yeah, should be a decent week, you know. Nothing major, nothing major. But, should be, steady, not bad for feeling ill anyway, so. We get this jointed up guys, and uh, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, so we're back home. Uh, this is later on in the night. I'm just editing the video, so I thought I'd do an outro because I didn't really do one. If you enjoy the videos, hit the like button. Um, help spread the video about. Subscribe if you want to see um, a few videos a week. I don't quite do daily videos, but I normally get a couple of vlogs out, a few vlogs out a week, showing my week at work. And uh, you know, have a one-on-one -on -one brick lane on uh, new build housing sites. So. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.